Oh, hey, Don. Hey, this is Sammy. Look out here with the Cultural Center uh, showing you guys today how to put this leather piece on your stick. I'm going to take some of this. I use a Elmer's glue stick and I put it on the leather. You'll get this leather piece in your packet. You might have to trim it up a little bit. Just smear it on here, make it sticky, and then apply it to this little piece here. Smooth it out. Let it dry for about 15, 20 minutes, and, and you're ready to be. So once the leather has dried on your dance stick and is secure, we're gonna to wanna to thread our needle and get ready to start beading. So get a needle from your kit, some thread. You're gonna want about two arm, arm lengths worth of thread. That should do it. Take your scissors, cut your thread. We're gonna to wanna to double thread our needle. So I am going to Cut it to a point. Go through the eye of my needle. All right. I'm going to take these two ends and tie them together. I'm going to go in here about four times. Now I got a little knot on the end. I'm gonna take my thread with my knot on the end and I'm going to <clears throat> go through my leather. This is where I'm going to secure my um, needle and leather right through here. Just like that. Not right on the edge, but not too far down. So now my thread is secure, my needle's threaded, and we're beginning and we're ready to begin beading. All right, to uh, better explain the peyote stitch technique, I'm going to demonstrate on this um, this dowel using some pony beads and some sinew. It's a little bit easier to see, and um, it's a relatively simple stitch, but you just got to get this first part down. So I wrapped enough beads around here to go almost all the way around, but they're not touching because you want to leave a little gap in there. And this will be filled in by the beads we add in. So uh, we filled it all the way around. What we're going to do is take our needle and go through this very first bead right here. The very first one we put on, we're going to pull our beads tight. We're going to cinch them up a little bit. So we're going through this very first bead right here. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna skip a bead and then go into this third bead. And that is the technique we're gonna be doing all the way around here. Skipping a bead, adding a bead, skipping a bead, and going in the next one. So I'm gonna use blue. So I went in the first one, we're gonna skip the second one. We're gonna go into the third one. We're gonna add a bead. It's going to sit on top of that one like that. So now we're going to add another bead. We're going to skip this guy. We're going to, okay, so we went through here. We're going to skip him and go into this one right here. And let's see here so you can see it better. I'm going to pull it through. Go on top and it's going to start tightening itself up. This first row is the hardest part of doing a peyote stitch. Once you get through the first row it's a piece of cake. You see it? All these little beads in here they kind of lay down like little bricks. So you're going to skip one. We're going to go on this one right here. And we're going to pull it through. Careful not to get our, uh, our thread crossed. And so, as you can see, our third row is lining up with the blue ones. And we're just, you know, we're going in here, skipping one, adding a bead, skipping one, going in, 
adding a bead, skipping one, going in. We're going to keep that pattern up all the way around. You go all the way around till you get to a point, something called the step up or the step down, depending on which direction you're going. So I'm skipping a bead, I'm adding a bead, skipping a bead, and then going in the one after that. So here we're coming to the, the end of our first row. So we're coming out here. So we're gonna come out here, we're gonna add a bead. We added a bead. We're gonna skip this bead and then normally we would go in here. This is the part called the step up or the step down. You're coming out here, you're adding a bead, you're skipping this bead. You're going through the white bead and then up, you're stepping up or stepping or stepping down to the next row. And so now we are going to officially begin our fourth row of beads. So this will slide into place. And now you can see that we have one, two, three rows of beads here. Your first row of white is two rows. Now we've added the third row, which is the blue. And this is the technique that you're going to be doing all the way through your whole stick. And through it, you can make various different patterns. So now I'm going to add a white. I'm going to do a couple more and show you the fourth row. So you will just keep going through here. I came out here, add a bead, skip a bead, and you're going through here. Once you get to that fourth row, it's a lot easier to see. And you can see the pattern and how the beads really lay on top of each other. And so there's the first bead of the fourth row. So I'm adding a bead, I'm coming out, adding a bead, skipping a bead, and going in here. And that is the technique all the way through till you get done beading your whole dance stick. And that is the same thing we're going to do here. Came out here, we're going to lace it all the way around and do the very same technique. All right, when we come back, we'll show you the so when you're making your, uh, you're doing your peyote stitch, you really want to concentrate on what you're doing at the time and not, not get off on your count or lose your focus on what you're trying to do because it's very easy to uh, miss a bead here and that will throw your pattern off and the way your, your beads line up. So this is an exercise that you want to uh, take your time and clear your head not think about all the other things going on, but just concentrate on the actual beating. And then you'll see your pattern start to take shape. So just add one, skip one, and keep going around like that. And eventually, you will see your, your pattern start to take shape. And as you go all the way around, the beads will tighten up on whatever circular object you're beating at the time. So to do peyote stitch or gorge stitch, you gotta do it around something round, right? You can't do it around square objects, but anything round you can, can um, use this technique on. So as we get started, we're going to be recreating the pattern you see right here. This is going to be the pattern that we are recreating. And it is a base blue with red, orange, yellow, white. And it's kind of a blending pattern. And then it goes with the yellow, the orange, the red, and some green, and then it just repeats. And so we're gonna be recreating this pattern right here. We're gonna work our way down. Now we're about to start our pattern of red. So the next we'll be doing red every other one. Then we'll come back with some blue 
and then we'll come back with another row of red and some orange and just repeat this pattern all the way down. All right, guys, we've come to the point where we're going to tie this off. We run out of length on our string and we're going to start and you can see where we're, we're ending right here. We're going to start going through these. This is how I, I do it. I tuck it through. Start running up these beads. And this is the same way you're going to end it when you get to the very end when you finish your your stick you're just going to run your string up through these beads that you've already put on that's pretty simple you just tuck it in there and then you snip off your string as close as you can to the beads and if your strings hanging out you can just use your needle and kind of tuck it down in there and that's and then to start it you go back to that where you left off where you're running it I like to take it through the leather couple times and I'll wrap it around back to that point go through that last bead you put on and you're there you're ready to start beading again